Hello there, everybody. It's great to be with you this afternoon here in England. And I've got a fantastic guest on Cross's Corner today, Machin Brzezinski. I hope I pronounced that correctly, Machin. Yes, he's correctly. Hey, hello, <laughs> everyone. Now, Machin, you have been rowing for so long now. Um, I've seen you on the rowing scene for many, many years. But um, one of the things that uh, must have been fantastic for you was when you won the world title in the fours in 2019 with your crew. Yes, I wrote uh, something about 20, 20 years. And this... Uh, this uh, mm, in the... 2019, uh, we have. Uh, oh, sorry. Mm. We just uh, take a world champ, and this is the my best uh, uh, results on my career. Now, do you? Why do you think it took so long for you to win a gold medal, or to? I know you had one gold medal in in the eight in the world championships, but. Uh, why did it take so many years for that to happen, do you think? Um, maybe this, uh, this thing, because uh, area I row in the 8. The 8 is a very difficult uh, boat, and we didn't have uh, so much um, people in the, in the squad high level on the Poland. Yeah. Yes, yeah, squad. Uh, when we uh, go to the fourth, uh, this is this is the um, this is the main things that we have uh, this this uh, this championships. Yeah. So we'll we'll talk about that race as we go on through the interview. But um, just tell us where you are and and what you've been doing this morning, Marcin. Uh, this morning we have uh, uh, some training on the ERG and uh, we have uh, four times 20 minutes, the low rate something about uh, 22, 21 maybe, and we, uh, we, we have a uh, heart rate something about 170. This is the hardest training on this week, I think so. Oh, really? Do you do you always train with a yeah. heart rate uh, monitor? Only we, when we go to the erg, we use the heart rate. When we are in the water, we didn't look for the heart rate. We uh, looked only on the speed boat yeah. and the rate, of course. And what is your maximum pulse rate? So I'm interested. What what percentage of your maximum pulse rate are you training at today? I think something about uh, 190. So, so that was a hard session today because that that's um, that's very tough. How how much rest do you have in between the twenty minutes? Six minutes. Okay. It's long, long rest. It's, it's, it's long rest, but but the, for us, it's uh, very tough. The training and do you what how many watts do you are you scoring in those in those sessions what are you what are you trying to aim for uh, something about uh, 310 320 we try we try something like that wow so that's quite tough and who is the who is the best on the ergometer in your four Uh, uh, the stroke and for my four, the Michał Szpakowski. Szpakowski? He is the best on the erg. Uh, every test he wants for the... Yes. And I... He is I, a stro stroke man. Yeah. I, I, yeah. And um, in when you train on the ergometer, how often do you do the 2,000 metre test? 
Oh, uh, something about uh, three or four times uh, on the year, on the one season. We didn't wow. have a lot of tests on the ERG for the 2000. You, you must have done so many 2000 meter tests during your career. Yes, I think so. What what is what is your personal best score for the two thousand meter test? On the uh, concept two, uh, I have a uh, five forty seven. Wow! Um, but uh, on the RP three, RP three, yeah, I have uh, five thirty nine. Five thirty nine. Yes. Oh wow! And which do you prefer, the Concept Two or the RP Three? I think that the RP Three is uh, a little bit better when we are row on the on the water. Is similar um, movement when we are row on the water and the RP Three. Yeah. And I, I'm I'm wondering how how long ago did you roll your personal best? Those scores uh, are you are you still getting better every year, or did you roll your personal best a long time ago? Uh, my personal best uh, from the RP three. Yeah, I, I scored last year. Oh wow! <laughs> yes. That I think that uh, that my level is similar every year. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what is the average score for your four? What is uh, on the uh, on the on the two K test? What are the what is the average? average uh, let let me think uh, something about uh, five forty two on the. RP3. Wow. I can see. I can see why you were so successful in, in 2019. Yes, we have now we have a the good team, the good crew. Right. So so imagine I'd I'd um I'd like to take you back to when you first started rowing in in Poland, which was a, a long long time ago, why why did you first begin <laughs> rowing? Sorry, could you repeat? Because I have a uh, uh, some problem with the with the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Marcin, I'd like to take you back to when you first started rowing. When, when did you? Why did you first begin rowing as a young man? Uh, I started to row uh, something about nineteen ninety eight. Whoa! <laughs> when I'm uh, in the, <laughs> I, I have uh, thirteen years. Yes. Yes, and, uh, I started because my my club is nearly my uh, home, and I uh, go there. There is there is a fantastic people over there. That I look for for them. They looks like uh, this is the fun, and uh, I I I think that is that maybe sport. What world I can do, and I try to do my best on this sport. Wow! And were you good at any other sports, or are you just good in rowing? Oh, I think only in the rowing. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like ride on the bike, skiing, something like that. But yeah. I think that we didn't have a much more time that we do other sports. Yeah. And when did you first realize that you would be able to 
compete in the World Championships. How old were you when you first? Uh, I have a uh, 17 when my, when I go to the first uh, junior world drawing. And you, you were in a sculling boat then, in a quadruple yes, sculling. Yes, yes. And the, and the next year, I uh, I took the bronze medal on the junior world champion. Oh wow! Because Poland and has a long tradition in the quadruple skull. Yes, we have very great crew a couple of years ago, and now we also have a fantastic crew. Yeah, maybe that maybe that uh, that is uh, the reason that I try my best every year, and and I uh, and I realize that that it's possible to get the gold medal so what were your ambitions when when you started out maybe you finished your juniors and you you looked to race in the under 23s what were your ambitions what did you want to achieve in the sport when i started on the under 23 i also have a medal uh, the bronze medal and the quadruple uh, so you had a lot of success early on Yes, yes, and then I try to uh, get the uh, the senior squad. But first of all, I try on the double. Uh, then I go to the eight. The couple of years we spend on the eight, uh, we have a bronze medal on the world championships. We have a couple of medals on the European. And then we try go to the fourth and okay. use. So so let's let's take a look at your career. So you 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 were in the double skull at the same time as the Polish team had a fantastic quadruple skull. Yes, yes. What what was it like training with those guys? Because they they won the Olympics, didn't they? Uh, yes, uh, they are they are a fantastic crew. I try to uh, I try to uh, go from them every trainings. They uh, talk talk with me a lot about technique and uh, all all of the things on the trainings. And I try, 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 and <laughs> try my best. <laughs> But uh, the, my, uh, I've been fourth in the double. This is the, my best in, when uh, I do the double. In two thousand and six, I think you were fourth. E e yes, yes. It was. It was very close. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I was very young uh, on this uh, on this uh, event. Is and then I realized that I. I can get the medal. Yes. But so, on the on the next year, I've been twelve, and I didn't get the qualification on the on the uh, Olympics. And then I uh, changed the oars. Yes. And I go to the and I go to the eight. What? Why did you change? Was it? Your decision or the Fed, the Polish Federation decision to make a, a change because one year you're for those this is, years. This is, this is the, the, the decision uh, on the my coach uh, Wojciech Jankowski. Oh. He wants he wants me yes he wants me on the eight because they they know that I'm uh, the good rower and he wants to try me on the eight. Okay, so Wojciech Jankowski is still the coach you have in the four now. He's the same. It's the same coach. Yes, exactly. Okay, so what was it like making the change from the double skull into the eight for the Olympics in uh, Beijing? 
Your first Olympics. For me, yes. Uh, uh, yes. And I go <laughs> for the eight. Uh, that, um, this is, for me, is very, very tough because this is, for me, the first uh, Olympics. Change the boat. The guys uh, with me in the boats, they are uh, row in this boat a couple of years. And I'm new on this boat. It's uh, very, very tough for me, but I try my best. And we yeah. have been fifth on this, on this uh, Olympics. Yeah, that's a that's a good result. Yes, I think so. <laughs> yeah. And so then started. You were many, many years in the Polish eight. Yes, uh, we have some success, uh, some gold medal in the European, one bronze medal on the World Championship. We have uh, a lot of, sometimes we have a lot of problems with the technique. We change uh, some people on the aid. We try something new. Uh, one times we are... Uh, we are good, and one times we are bad. Yes, I, I let let's talk about that race you won a, a bronze medal in in two thousand and ten in New Zealand at Carapiro. What 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 do you remember about that race? That that final. No, no, no. We have a bronze medal on the Eton, uh, is Amsterdam. Sorry, sorry, oh, on the Amsterdam, Amsterdam on, on the Amsterdam. Uh, in the eight, uh, Carapiro, we've been second in the final B. Oh, sorry. So I meant in Amsterdam. Thank you, Marcin. So what do you remember about that race in Amsterdam in 2014? I, I'm, uh, it's a very, very good uh, race for us. Uh, we've been preparing very, very good for this race. Uh, and we know that we, after the, this uh, this championships, we know that we can take some medal on this uh, this event. Yeah, because you were just behind the British and the German crews. Yes, on only a couple of meters, and we try fight for them on the finish, but they are stronger. And did, did you understand why some years like 2014 you could make a medal and other years it was no good? Could you could you ex explain why that happened? Uh, I think that we uh, do many many uh, many falls. Um, we have a problem for our technique and we can be better for from from this technique and i think that we have problem because on the on the erg on the gym everything is good we have uh, good results on the test everything is good but we didn't uh, row so fast like we row on the Amsterdam. And and I guess the reason is hard to understand. If if you understood why, if you knew the reason you could do something about it. Yes, but we didn't know what's happened. I think yeah. that is only the technique. Um you had you've had different coaches in the eight. It's not always been Wojciech Jankowski. Yes, uh, something about uh, 2016. We have a uh, Italian coach, Beppe De Capua. Yes, yes. We changed the coach uh, because uh, the federations. Uh, take some um, reasons that we should uh, change the coach, new looks for us. Um, 
new new trainings and we try to take the qualifications for the uh, Olympic Rio. Yeah. Yeah, we we did this on the on the 2016. 